Hey everyone, Safety here. Just doing a quick little updated video on my new solar panel. You can see my tree in the reflection there. Got it set up on my back deck on my glass table right now, wired into my kitchen. Um, eventually I might put it on top of that shed there. And if not there, I might put it on top of my garage. It depends on how big of a battery bank I want to build for this one panel. Eventually maybe buy a couple more panels. But this is just what I got going right now because this is really all I can afford. This solar panel I want to say it was like 230 bucks, free shipping off Newegg. It's a Sunforce 50 watt solar panel. They claim they can put out 3 amps. Right now there's a cloud in sight. I'm testing it. It's putting out about 2. Most I've seen is 2 and a quarter amps. Um, I've got my multimeter there connected to my Sunforce 30 amp um, charge controller. It's, uh, it can do up to 30 amps, so like I said, this one's a 50 watt, does about 3 amps, so definitely plenty of room to extend this. This is a 12 volt setup I've got going here. Um, I'm going to go to Costco in a couple days when I get some money and buy probably 2 or 3 deep cycle 125 amp hour rechargeable um, marine batteries. Once I get those set up, I'll run those in uh, series. and go ahead right now I had this little 12 volt car battery that I pulled out of my girlfriend's car but when I replaced it but it's totally shot I don't think I can get a charge on it and I can't find my battery charger to get it going uh, but I also picked up two of these wagon um, what do they call them a dome dome EX power um, backup it's got a battery inside there it's also got you'll see here there is two AC it's got a 400 watt power inverter built in. It's also got DC power running right there. It's got a DC 12 volt socket um, along with a DC voltmeter to test the battery itself. All right, so this here is our work light switch. I'll zoom out and turn this guy around. I'll kick that on for you so you can get an idea. This is just an LED light. It's also got these jumper cables, negative on this side, positive on the opposite side. <clears throat> it can do a full jump of a vehicle or a boat or whatever you need to do. Um, really handy device to have around. I'm gonna flip it around to the other side real quick. And that side you're gonna see that there's a built-in radio with a USB charging port, um, as well as auxiliary in, so you could connect, you'd charge and play your iPhone or iPod or anything that's USB and auxiliary that you could use there. And this here is the switch to flip on those jumper cables. We've also got a 600 PSI pump. I'll go ahead and try and pop this open for you so you can see. Oh, there we go, got it. Alright, so this is a little pump built in. It comes with a needle, also a little plastic tube to uh, pump up like a beach ball or a little boat, anything um, polyurethane that you can blow up there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty handy little thing. It's really not too heavy. The craftsmanship's questionable. It's a lot of plastic and I keep noticing I have to pop stuff back into place. So, I, I mean, it should work just fine. I've watched some re results on it online. Um, they have a bunch of claims what it can do. The guy that I watched was able to power a laptop playing a DVD as well as a fan for a little over an hour before it started beeping and then gave up completely. So that's nice. The really reason why I got it was I'm going to throw one in my girlfriend's car so she's safe, but I'm also going to have one in the house because I don't have a car. I have a, a Vespa. And, um, I don't need this in my Vespa really, I've got my power inverter my solar panel in there to charge that battery. But what's nice is they, they claim, I haven't been able to test it yet, but they claim I'll be able to connect this to my solar panel and charge it off the DC power since it's got both DC and AC because it does come with, let's zoom out and grab this for you real quick, sorry I didn't have it ready. Um, but it's got this DC car adapter here so you can charge it off your car battery of course, they recommend you have your car running. But um, I'm testing it right now charging and from the AC outlet it's only pulling about 5 amps. So of course my solar panel won't be able to directly power this. But once I get my battery bank set up I should have absolutely no problem uh, powering it off those batteries. Also, I mean, I, and then what's nice is I can avoid using my inverter because even though my inverter could charge both of them no problem, my power inverter is only, I think I did a video on this a while back, it's, it's only 400 Let's see, it's, it's a 600 um, watt inverter, but it's only 500 watt continuous. 
and I'd rather in a state of emergency be using that to power lights, fans, um, maybe a small air conditioning if it's really hot, but um, realistically, this is just going to be so I can survive and charge cell phones and flashlights and anything else, batteries that I need. Um, but I can safely say right now, in the case of emergency, if the power went out right now in my house, I would be able to keep the lights on in, in at least one room where we can have a little powwow, no candles, no unsafe fire or flame, um, for, for an easy four or five hours to get us through the night until the daylight came. Once the daylight comes back, it's back to charging the batteries and, you know, living on. And eventually, once I get that installed on the shed or on the roof, um, it'll be permanent. I can expand it. I also really want to put a set of solar panels along this back wall, um, creating an overhang for my dog to run underneath in the winter time, and eventually creating a rainwater catchment system for this tank in this back corner here. I've cleared a tree out, got plenty of room, and it was the best part about it is it's. I could fit a decent sized tank in between the roof line and this hill line allowing for gravity fed water throughout my entire backyard. So I've got a, I've got a decent sized backyard and with that I would be able to um, turn my small suburban property into as self sustaining as I can. One small step in a long process of becoming self sustaining, I'd rather have 7 acres honestly. but. Stay safe YouTube and wait for my next video to come out.